As elections draw nearer, uh, the four political outfits running for the top seat have committed to deploy long-term measures that will boost agricultural productivity across the country. From Azimio Laumoja's ambition to grow the sector's GDP contribution to 30% to Kenya Kwanzaa's allocation of 250 billion shillings to the sector for the next five years. And Wajakoyo's root party seeking to legalize marijuana and commercial farming as well as the Agano Party's promise to ban the importation of basic food commodities produced locally. Caroline Njenga breaks down the vision for Kenya's agriculture in the manifestos. In its 10-point agenda, Agenda 4 is the Azimio La Okulima, in which the Azimio party vows to generate agricultural bounty to feed the people of Kenya. The Raila Odinga-led coalition further commits to creating an enabling environment for climate-smart agriculture, agro-processing, improved livestock farming, mechanization, digitization and application of science and technology in agriculture. Promote agriculture in large scale. And we'll also introduce smart agriculture so that our farmers can be able to get value for their efforts. Hile muhimu na ambayo focus yetu itakuwa ni kwa kikisha changamoto zile siko kwa kilimo ambaso sinasuzuia. This, he says, will grow the agriculture sector to 30% of the gross domestic product, which would increase from 22.4% in 2021, according to the economic survey. The manifesto has also factored in climate change adaptation and mitigation to support and help realize high agricultural productivity. We will subsidize our agriculture by providing farm inputs providing seeds, providing fertilizers and chemicals at subsidized price. This comes against a backdrop of skyrocketing farm input prices. In April, a 50 kg bag of DAP fertilizer had hit a high market price of 6,000 shillings before a directive was issued by Agriculture Cabinet Secretary Peter Munya to revert the prices to 2,800 shillings. All right. To turn around the agriculture sector, Deputy President William Bruto centered his seven-point manifesto on smallholder agriculture and the informal sector which he promised to allocate 500 billion shillings. In the manifesto, Ruto-led alliance has committed an additional allocation of 250 billion shillings for the next five years, which he says will be used to provide farmers adequate working capital through cooperative societies, deployment of modern agricultural risk management instruments, and to transform two million poor farmers from food deficit to surplus producers, among others. Agricultural productivity is the secret. Farmers and pastoralists have witnessed widespread livestock deaths due to the prevailing drought, minimal rainfall, low cropping levels and sharp declines in purchasing power creating large food consumption gaps and high levels of acute malnutrition among millions of households. We need to capitalize that sector so that we can provide animal feed, we can provide good quality seed, we can provide good quality affordable fertilizer and we can provide agrochemicals. Ruto resolved to raise agriculture productivity to increase farmers' earnings and help Kenya generate more income, thereby tackling poverty. Every Kenyan spends 54% of their income on food. 54%. In fact, the poorer families are spending 60% of their income on food alone. He noted that by revamping the sector, his administration would address the high cost of living. The Azimiola Umoja Coalition and Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance manifestos have committed to implement the minimum guarantee returns in the coffee, tea and dairy sectors. Timothy Njagi, an agricultural expert from Tegemeo Institute of Policy and Development, says the manifestos have a lot of general statements that do not show the real commitment and the minimum guarantee return stand out is not clear on how this will be implemented. 
in dairy farming, Ruto committed to revitalizing the sector by pumping 8.8 .8 billion shillings. We would actually double our milk production from 5 billion liters to 10 billion liters. Noting that Kenya spends 300 billion shillings to import food that can be grown locally, Ruto said Kenya has the capacity to produce a bigger share for consumption and export, adding that he plans to reduce the dependency on basic food inputs by 30% through government-supported programs. Egg of Bangi can earn you $78,000 or Eight million per harvest. According to Wajakoya, revenue generated from the cultivating and exporting of marijuana has the potential to clear escalating debt. Caroline Jenga for Prime Time Edition. Hey.